I'm Becca and today I'm going to show you a quick tip for how you can inspect the responses given to a survey um, that you've then used in a survey routine in your PsychoPie experiment. So in this example we have an experiment where your participant is first presented with a survey um, that is actually an information sheet in a consent form and then they are presented with a set of trials that constitutes our experiment. In this case it's a simple reaction time experiment. So what I'm going to show you is a quick tip for how you can look at all the responses that were given to your survey within your experiment. So I'm going to start by clicking insert routine, new, and I'm going to call this check responses. Okay, and I'm going to put that after my survey, but before my trials. And in here, I'm going to insert a custom code component. So I'm going to select code from the components panel on the right hand side. And at the beginning of my routine, I want to here inspect what were the responses given in the previous routine, so the survey. Now here, the code type, I'm actually going to change to be JavaScript because Pavlovia surveys currently only run online, so it only makes sense in the JavaScript context, not in Python. Now here, I'm going to type window.info underscore survey equals info underscore survey. And here what I'm doing is I'm effectively passing an object in my experiment, in this case my survey, to the console window for inspection. Now if you're not sure what the console window is just yet, fear not, because I'm going to demonstrate that in a moment. So I've made this change, I'm going to sync this and I'm going to say passed survey to window. And then I'm going to wait for those changes to sync to pavlovia.org. Now, once those changes have been synced, I'm going to go back to my uh, experiment page here, uh, which is my PsychoPy experiment, but on pavlovia.org. I'm going to run that experiment. And here I'm presented with that information sheet. I can make some responses like so. I can complete that. And then I want to look at, OK, what were the responses given to my survey? So what I can do here is I can right click anywhere on um, my window and select inspect. And here this will unfold this window that shows you first of all a tab called elements. That's all of the HTML elements that make up this web page. But I want to select console and here I'm going to type um, info underscore survey. And what that will show me is my survey object under the hood. Now what I can do is fold this out to have a look at all of the properties under the hood of that survey. There's quite a lot, but the one I'm going to home in on is this overall survey results. And if I unfold that option, I can see there a list of all the questions that were in my survey and the answers that were given to those questions. So, for example, here I've got age underscore years. Um, that here is my age that, as I say, the whole world knows now. So let's imagine I want to use that in some way in my experiment. What I could do then is now I know that that particular response lives in this, um, this overall survey results. I could then say, OK, so let's say I want to present some text and this text is going to say how old uh, my participant reported that they are. So I'm going to say info underscore survey. But then I'm going to access that um, overall survey results. And from within our overall survey results, I'm going to access the age in years that was given. So to access that, I'm going to say age underscore years. Now, the reason I'm using the square brackets is because actually this overall survey results is uh, a dictionary. Um, and that's how we then access just one field from that dictionary. So I'm going to make sure I set this to every repeat, because if you're familiar with PsychoPy, you'll know anything that needs to be updated um, every uh, either every trial or at some point within the experiment it's not constant it's something that updates every repeat and just so I actually have a chance to look at that I'll make this last for three seconds okay lovely so I'm going to sync that change and I'm going to say um, show participants age response lovely and so now that has synced to Pavlovia 
I'm now going to go back to my experiment and I'm going to relaunch this page. Um, this time I can actually just fold away this console um, because I'm hoping I don't need to look at that anymore. But I'm going to click OK. I'm going to answer all of these questions here. I'm going to report my age and I'm going to click complete. And there we can see my age presented on the screen in case you didn't catch it already. Um, and then I have my task. So this means that you can, um, in this way, use the responses from your survey in many flexible ways in order to update your experiment. If you have any specific examples that you'd like us to make videos about or make tutorials about, please can you write in the comments section um, so that we know that we make content that is useful for you. Um, but hopefully this is a useful first tip for utilising the responses given in a Pavlovia survey uh, routine in your experiment. Thank you for watching and I hope you found this useful.